Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. So this is going to be a quick update on the PS3 that I repaired about seven to eight months ago. So as it states, this is the PS3 that I did the NEC Talkin cap replacement and um, yeah, still working fine. So I've been using it for the past, the first month after it got repaired, about three hours a day um, playing Dragon Guard, which is a PS2 game. It's actually in here. Um, so I can't really show you me playing because my controller doesn't seem to work right now. But it's a PS2 game. Um, it's been running it perfectly fine. There are no issues. Console's on the latest version. As you guys can see there, it boots perfectly fine. Everything functions. Um, I'll add some shots of me actually playing. But essentially, um, the only issues I've noticed with the console, I don't know if you guys can hear it, um, usually when a game starts, it gets a bit loud and there's sometimes a little bit more hot air coming out the back than usual. But as you guys saw in that video, I only replaced the two caps next to the RSX. I deleted the RSX and replaced the thermal paste there, but I didn't do it to the cell just because I've never done it before and uh, don't want to ruin it. But I'm assuming I could probably increase the coolness, decrease the fans um, if I did that. So maybe that's something I'll do um, in the future to future proof it. But one quick update with these consoles, so as you guys see there, it will boot the PS2 game. And maybe we'll actually hear if it gets loud. Um, let me just lower down my volume. So the thing with... Um, the NEC token caps is uh, recently it's been kind of looked into to see if the caps are an issue with the yellow light or if it can also be an RSX which is what people first assumed um, and it looks like it's also going to be that it is an RSX issue and sometimes replacing caps on these guys will fix it sometimes it won't there is a way to um, read your error codes like the I believe it's the last five or ten to see what it is so in certain cases yeah you can replace the NEC token and it may work in other cases it might work a little bit and it might not um, in some cases it won't work at all and you'll need to either reflow or reball your console but uh yeah this is just for everyone that's been asking you know how the console has been going um if all is good with it it has been um so now it's not going to get a bit loud like I stated, one to two hours a day for like a month straight. That's like, what, if I play five days a week, five hours, five times four, 20 hours, 20, 30 hours a week, 20, 30 hours a month. I mean, it's not that much as, you know, you would be playing it back in the prime, but it's held up for seven, eight months. And like I said, it works fine. Um, for anyone that's wondering if it's the same console, I'm still missing the flap here. I do want it to get, to get the cover for it, but it costs a lot more to get one of these on eBay than it is to get a whole other console. Um, but yeah, it works fine, as you guys can see there. I mainly got this, these backward ones to play PS2 games. I do have a one of them that was reballed, and um, it does, it's loud as a jet. Um, not sure what's going on with that one. That one was just reballed, and reballed back in like when Last of Us 1 came out, so 2011. 2012 something like that and it's still working fine so uh yeah if anyone has any questions comments concerns about the ps3 or the process or what i did wrong or what i did right or what i can do leave it down below and i will uh, be more than happy to respond other than that um thanks for watching like comment subscribe um and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video see you